All right, so something you should have already realized is that uh, when it comes to matrices, A times B does not equal B times A. This is just not something you can do with matrices. Uh, it's pretty easy to show that just if you think in terms of um, order. So if A is a 2 by 3 matrix and B is a um, 3 by 2 matrix, uh, that's a bad example, a 3 by 4 matrix. Now, when you multiply them together, the answer is going to end up being a 2 by 4 matrix. And you can multiply them together because the columns from the first one uh, are equal to the rows from the second one. Now, if I tried to take A and B and do B times A, I'd have 3 times 4. Oops. I'd have 3 times 4, and I'll be multiplying it by a... Um, 2 by 3. And you already know that you can't multiply those because those two numbers aren't the same. So therefore, A times B does not equal B times A because B times A, in this case, doesn't even exist. Even if it could exist, even if that was a 2 and that was a 2, you'll find the answers are going to be different. There is something where that rule doesn't hold, and that's something called the identity matrix. So this is not true, but we can say that A times the identity matrix is equal to I times um, A. So it doesn't matter what order we multiply them in. As long as one of them is the special identity matrix, we're in business. Now, for this to work, a couple of things. A must be square. So that means A must be a 2 by 2 or a 3 by 3 or a 4 by 4 matrix. Okay, so that's one of them. Uh, now, the second thing for this to work is the identity matrix looks uh, a very special way. The identity matrix is pretty much all zeros except for the diagonal here, which would be 1s. So, for instance, a 3 by 3 identity matrix would look like this, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. A uh, 4 by 4, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. There is a 4 by 4 identity matrix. So that's what these identity matrix matrices look like. For example, if A was 2, negative 3, 4, 1, and I was 1, 0, 0, 1, find A times I. Well, I can tell you straight away, this is the identity matrix. This is A. So my answer, well, actually, let's find out. Let's see what happens. All right, so it's going to be a 2 by 2 matrix. And it's going to be 2 times 1 plus uh, negative 3 times 0. And obviously that bit's going to be 0. This next bit is going to be 2 times 0, which is 0 negative 3 times 1, which is uh, negative 3. Next bit's going to be 4 times 1 plus 1 times 0. And the next element's going to be uh, 4 times 0 plus 1 times 1. Okay. And watch what happens here. 2 times 1 is 2, and then this bit just doesn't happen at all, so I get an answer of 2. 2 times 0 is 0, so I get no answer there. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 times 0, so my answer is 4. And 4 times 0 plus uh, 1 is 1. So A times the identity matrix is equal to A. And that's sort of the, the big payoff here. A times the identity matrix is equal to A. Now, that might not seem overly interesting, but it's kind of, it's kind of the same revelation that a year one might make when they realize that 7 times 1 is equal to 7, and so is 12 times 1 is 12, so is 101 times 1 is 101. The identity matrix is pretty much the equivalent of 1 when it comes to multiplying numbers. So important things to note, identity matrices only exist when things are square. 
if you've got an identity matrix, A times I will be the same as I times A, and that's the only time that you can reverse those multiplication principles. And A times I will also be equal to A in the same that 7 times 1 will always be 7. A times 1 will always be A.